In addition to the five primary groups of white cells, there are a few more types that you may want to be aware of, mast and auxiliary cells. These two types of white cells have some complementary functions. Mast cells are more complex in that they can produce many different types of substances to perform a variety of functions, while auxiliary cells are more focused. Let's begin by looking at the mast cell, which is found throughout the body close to areas exposed to the outside world. They live under the skin, in the respiratory system, in the digestive tract, urinary tract, and they live near lymph and blood vessels. Mast cells are involved in stimulating allergic reactions and inflammation response. When the surface receptors of the mast cell are activated, the cells begin to release substances, such as histamine, heparin, or enzymes. Heparin prevents blood coagulation. Enzymes are a catalyst for cell metabolic function, and histamine triggers an inflammation response. The mast cell also produces cytokines and chemokines, which signal other cells as well as attracting and guiding them to the infected area. So while mast cells are producing an inflammation response, auxiliary white cells complement the function by helping to mediate and control the inflammation reaction in the tissues surrounding the infected area. They also balance the effects of other white cells that incite inflammation.